good Saturday morning. It is March the 30th. It is the day before Easter. We got a couple things to do. Yeah. So, if those of you that watched the live yesterday, or last night, I can't believe we were on there for like five hours delivering, but, so we had an Outback delivery that, hmm, uh, GPS took me to the wrong location, and I left it at that location, and so, of course, now we have contract violation. So now we're just going to have to do 100 flipping deliveries to get rid of that contract violation. So it is almost 10 o'clock Saturday morning, which we are way late, two to three hours late. Um, yeah, that's okay. We're going to get started. We are going to... the post office drop this sign off and then get on the apps uh, just talk to the tax guy and um, yeah so you know we gotta we have part of the money for the taxes. I gotta pull the money from another location to pour the rest of it. Yeah. So, but he's gonna get it. He, I mean, I always think he's gonna charge me more to prepare the taxes because like we've added like the delivery stuff, but for the most part, I pretty much give him all the information he needs. Like pretty much, down to the dollar but I learned to do that when I was with my ex-husband because he ran a business and so I would just like go through and do all the expenses all the stuff all the receipts that came from this place or that place or whatever it was um, and would just list it all out put all the all the receipts and everything in an envelope with the you know w-2 stuff with um, like the little all my papers that had all the numbers written down so I continue to do that so luckily our tax guy did not charge us anymore for tax prep which I'm so glad because it is so expensive it's ridiculous you know and sometimes I think well you know they know how much you make they know you know where your money goes they know where this happens and that happens um, you know they could easily say these people make you know 200 grand which we don't that's just a random number I pulled out um, so yeah that's just like a random number and you know but if they saw that they could just say hmm well, let me charge them a grand to prepare the taxes because I mean I have one tax guy that when I started, he charged me $100. By the time I had been there for a few years, he was up getting hit in 200 and I didn't do any. I had, all I had was a W-2 job. That was it. I mean, it's, you know, plug in the numbers and go. So, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what happens. You know, it is what it is. And we'll go from there. So, we are off. Like I said, we're going to the post office. And um, I'm going to drop the sign off and then get on the apps, get everything turned on so that we can make some money and hopefully get closer to getting rid of this um, contract violation that, in my opinion, is not my fault, but whatever. If they want to give me a contract violation, this is only like, I don't know, maybe the fourth one that I've had. And years so yeah not that big of a deal it happens you know it's dark the GPS um, you know on the maps gives you wonky shit anyway so they take you down alleys they take you on the wrong street they take you to the side street so you know it's bound to happen and you know it was dark and I'm not 
not super familiar with that area and I was trying to look on the GPS uh, map and it wasn't helping me and it was telling me I mean I pulled in front of the house and it told me you arrived so can't help that so let's go I'll be back when we get another or when we get started and have an offer oh my gosh y'all so um, my customer wasn't home. I just left her um, sign on her porch like I normally do. She then mowed me the money and we got this order. It is from Grubhub. It isn't very good because you know it's at IHOP. It is 2.2 miles for $6.62. I mean miles to money is not bad. It depends on how long we end up sitting here waiting for this order. So I tried to get a trip radar on Uber Eats did not match probably because my stats are so low I can't help it so it is what it is we got to make this money today oh lordy 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 let's go we'll see you at the drop off on this one all right guys well it wasn't as bad <laughs> Oh, hi, <laughs> well, hey, sweetie. If you'll hold that and just let me, yes, thank you. They've gotten so goofy about all these pictures. Yeah, I love well, that hello. you use a GoPro to yes. protect yourself. Well, and I also have a YouTube channel that I do that mm -hmm. I vlog all my stuff. But, yeah, it comes in handy sometimes. Hey, yes. Oh, he must be a dog lover. Oh, yes, we have two. I have three. There's so. that. I used to have like five, <laughs> but thank you. You're welcome. You have Sorry a great day. You had to wait. Oh no problem. Yesterday I waited there for almost 45 minutes. Oh my goodness. And I mean, I just hate to mess up my statistics, so I just wait. And sometimes it's not worth it, but it is in the end. Yeah. So thank you. You have a great day. <laughs> She's like, nope. All right, let's see what we can get next, very sweet lady. All right, guys, as you see, we got that dropped off, and we are just going to see what we get, because, yeah, I really don't want to go to IHOP again, but, you know, we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to go a different way, and it's the end of the month, so all oh, the motorcycle popos are out today. Supposed to be really nice. It's 47 degrees right now, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day in the big A. So let's see what we get next, and we will see you back here soon. All right, well, that didn't take long, and it's not to IHOP. We are going to Whataburger, the one downtown, well, north of downtown. It is 11 miles, $10.59, so we will see you at Whataburger. Good, I have a uh, Grubhub for Tiffany M. No problem. Thank you. Yes, no. Okay. Go ahead, Hunter. You're ready. Go ahead and uh, drop the nine bike, please. Yeah. There you go, ma'am. Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. Oh. No, oh, no, 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 no,
step down to take a picture. And then it says to ring the doorbell. Got that done. Swipe to complete. Now to see what else we get. Alright guys, so we got on DoorDash for an hour, so hopefully we can um, hmm, work our way towards that 100 um, orders, deliveries, to get rid of our contract violation. So we took this $5, 3.8 mile McDonald's order, so hmm, yeah, let's go to Mickey D. The DoorDash. Perfect. Thank you so Thank much. You, you too. <laughs> oh. to take this one too. We're going to dirty stack it, but we're going to go deliver this one first. And talk about a security system here. Thank you for your business. Have a great day. got paused and we got to go get this other order so we took an uber because we had it turned on so hopefully they don't take it away from us it says 7.3 miles of course it's going to be more because we drove all the way over here to the drop off for this doordash order um so it's 7.3 miles uh, 11 dollars and eight cents for Taqueria Los Tortitos or something. So we are on our way to go pick this one up. And we'll see you back here in a moment. Hello for Casey. Thank you. Hope you'll have a great day. Thank you. Yes, please put them in the bag. All right, let's go get the next one. All right, guys. So we took another one. It's not that great, but it gets us out of the. I mean, still in this area, but it'll get us out in a minute. So it is five dollars eighty-four cents. 2.7 miles of course we got to go right back to the other way we were coming so we got to figure out how to get turned around here after all these cars come so we're going to cattlemen's not been there in a while because yeah no it is not where we want to go but that's okay we are going to go get this picked up and we will 
we'll go get both of these delivered. So we'll see you in a moment. Hello, I have a pickup for Jill. Okay, it's right there. Thank you, I appreciate it. All right, guys, let's get both of these delivered. Thank you for your business. Have a great day. All right, guys, let's go get the next one delivered. For Jill? Yes, ma'am. Perfect. You're welcome. Have a great day. Alrighty, my friends. We don't have anything else in the queue, so we'll see you back in a few. Alright, guys. So, we finally got another one. We are on our way to the Fun Noodle Bar. It is 8.9 miles for $12.19. Back over to the east side spent a lot of time over there so far today so we're gonna head back over there as soon as we get this picked up so we'll see you in a moment yeah we had to park dirty too because there is no parking in this parking lot There's so many people i guess everybody's out eating and so are the people ordering <laughs> Hello. Hello. The order for Yvonne. It's not ready yet. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. get run over in the parking lot because these people just come flying through here but let's get out of here because we're parked in no parking Hello. All right. I'm going to turn on Uber or something too because I'm not too very busy at the moment. And we need to make a buku money today. Let's see what we can find. All right, guys. Well, we have been huh, out of pocket for quite some time. We met Hubby at like 12:30. It's like 2:45 to go to AT&T and try to get our hotspot situation 
done so that we can have faster upload speeds and be able to um, live stream with the GoPro and all of that fun stuff. Yeah. So while we were at AT&T, they lost power. So supposedly XL Energy has told them that their power will be back on about mm, 5.30. So hopefully they can call me before and we can get done what needs to get done. But in the meantime, we took this Uber order. I don't know why I'm using pointing now because that's not how this is going to work. But it's seven dollars, two point three miles. So, oh, they may not have any power either. They got their freaking doors open. Let's go see if they have any power. It's weird that their door would be open. So let's go find out. All right, guys. Let's go see if our order's ready. Oh, maybe they do have. Yeah, they have power. They just had the door open. Thank you, I appreciate it. <sighs> oh my gosh, people. So, all right, guys, we got this order. I don't know, hopefully, nothing's missing. Let's go get it delivered. Delivering McDonald's to so Firehouse Sunday. Yes. There you go. <laughs> have a good day. Thank you. Well, there you have it, guys. We delivered it to Firehouse Up. So let's see what we get next. All right, guys. Well, now we are going to Chicken Express. I turned on Grubhub and I knew it was going to be there because that's the only hot spot they're flipping is. So we are going to Chicken Express on the other side of town. It is seven and a half miles for nine dollars. At this point, we just need the money. So we wasted too much time today, and we still have to go back to AT&T um, either when they call us or at 5:30. So that is the plan. So let's go to Chicken Express. No, this is Looney Tunes. So I hit accept, and I guess we're in a dead zone, so it didn't it didn't recognize that I accepted that offer for $9. So now it's eight miles, is what it says, for $9.26. So we got it, but it's the exact same order. Um, and the only difference is the fact that it's wanting me to turn around and go a different, back to I-40 to get on the highway, but we're not going that way. That's like stupid. We're almost to I-27 and we can go that way. So yeah, I'm not sure what the flip was going on, but apparently there's a lot of issues going on with electricity and internet connections. So let's go pick this up and we'll see you there. And I have the one for Charles. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, it's good. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> Y'all have a good one. 
Yep, that's what I thought he was picking up Grow Hub too. See what else we can get. Holy rotten guacamole. We are going back to Chicken Express. So yeah, it's 5.2 miles, six dollars and thirty-five cents. And we will probably see you at the drop-off or something. I'll figure out where that is. Um because need to use the facilities yes need to be um you know and it irritates me they send me this stupid order and we're already back over by all the other restaurants like away from that whole area but we're going back again i'm sure it's going to looks like it's probably going to a freaking motel <sighs> Alright guys, we'll see you in a few. I decided not to go here because guess what? It always stinks terribly. Yes. Okay, thank you. I appreciate it. Alrighty, let's go get it delivered. Make sure I'm going to the right place. 1900. Thank you for your business. Have a great day. Alrighty, folks. Well, maybe we might end up back over there. It's still hot as flip over there. Let's see what we get. At least we're not going back. We are going to Taco Bell. It is six miles for $8.87. So, let's figure out how we're going to get there really fast because I'm in this neighborhood that I'm not familiar with so let's go to Taco Bell Figure out where this person lives. Make sure I'm going to double check. I'm going to apartment number nine. How are you? Good. 
<laughs> Which one do you want first? <laughs> there you go. Right. And then let me see. It's gonna, let me just take a picture of it in your hand. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you so much. Have a great night. Thank you. All right, guys. We have another order to go pick up. So I'll tell you about it in a moment. All right, guys. So this next one is going, we're picking up at Red Lobster. It is 4.9 miles for $17.66. Finally, something over 10 bucks. Those today have been far and few between. So let's go get this and we'll see you at the drop off because I'm pretty sure it won't be ready. Thank you for your business. Have a great night. Alrighty, guys. Off to something else. We have no order yet, so we'll see. Alright, guys. Well, we finally got the AT&T stuff done. So, hopefully, well, we can make some money in the next, I don't know, five hours or so. It is almost six o'clock. So, we are hot spots we'll see I don't know but we got that done and we are off and running I got an offer and y'all at the AT&T place I could not get a signal something was wrong so I could not accept the offer I think I even took a picture of it twice because they sent it to me twice and it was not good so yeah that's at least once they sent it to me twice hopefully we don't get dinged on that one um yeah i don't know what's gonna happen but hopefully we will get an order soon and we will be back with you as soon as possible Alright guys, so we got this order going. We're going to Sumo Japanese Steakhouse. It is 3.6 miles for $10.03. Whoop, whoop, whoop. That's what we need. $10.03. Decent order. Let's go get it. We'll see you at the drop off because it's never ready. I hate to take you in if it's never ready because then we just wait and wait and wait and wait wait way too long so we'll see you at the drop off all right guys well i did not take you to the drop off because it happened like so fast this is a weird part there's like a gated community and it even has like a a service vehicle entrance which is where i had to come in they don't give you a gate code nothing so yeah it was weird but we got it delivered and there is a mission at the moment so we got two extra dollars so that works for me so we have definitely this after whenever this whole day definitely made more in tip money than we have in regular base pay so that's a good thing. Oh, we got another one. I mean, we're just gonna take them all. So, yeah, craziness. All right, so this next one is CC's Pizza. It is 10 and a half miles. It is $12.36. So let's go to CC's and let's get this picked up.
for I have a pickup for Susie. Dipping sauces in the pe in the boxes. It should be. Okay. Thank you. Better ask. Two large pizzas and you get two things of cheese and or three things of cheese and three things of peppers. That's funny. All right, let's get it delivered. guys well we finally got the next one we're going to taco bell it is 1.7 miles for 14 dollars so there is a mission going on I'm not sure how long it's going on um let me see if i can tell till 6 45 we may or may if it's ready we might get it one more time we've already gotten four dollars so let's go to Taco Bell. It has 24 items, but 16 of them are sauce packets. It's insane. Let's see if it's ready, because it says it is. Yeah, no. For Deborah O. Okay. Hey, where's that order? Deborah? Oh, still leaving but we only have one GoPro battery because I forgot to take in the one we used last night to be charged and this one's about to die so I'm gonna leave you here in the car we will get back to you as soon as we get an offer <laughs> not an offer as soon as we get home and go over all the numbers for today because we're going to see if we can make the 200 even though we have had a very, very wonky, wonky day. So, we'll be back with you tonight when we get home. Thank you all for being here. If you're new, please consider subscribing. Be sure you all hit the like button on the video so we will get our videos put out there into the algorithm. And if you're new, please subscribe doesn't cost anything you you know if you want to know when our videos come out they come out almost every single day and I just thank you all from the bottom of my heart love y'all we'll see you on when we get home all right guys we finally made it home so it was a crazy day um, we had to split our dash time into like three pieces we spent probably four hours at AT&T. Maybe not quite that much, but we spent a freaking ton of time at AT&T trying to get that stuff situated. What we did make $234.80 in approximately 10 hours for $23.41 an hour. So hallelujah, we made over 200. So I need to work on the video for tomorrow go to bed get up and do this again so i'm probably only going to be out tomorrow till about three 
come home work on a video and try to get some things done probably not going out on Monday so that I can do some things I need to get done next week and be out every night after that so yeah because I'm pretty sure Friday and Saturday next this coming weekend are going to be messed up like they were a week ago so yeah way it goes so thank you for being here if you're new please subscribe and if you all like and comment on the video i would greatly appreciate it we will see you on the next one have a great night